to see here. It is a beautiful sunny afternoon here in Kansas. And the best part of all is the wind finally stopped blowing. It has been blowing big time for the last two weeks and today it is totally calm. So we're going to take advantage of that calm day because we don't get them very often. We're going to burn, we're going to try and burn the rest of the trunk of that sycamore tree we cut down over a year ago and you I hope you saw the video because it was a lot of fun cutting that tree down uh, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the comment section so you can take a look at it if you missed it but those pieces of trunk were so big we couldn't lift them with the tractor and move them to burn them on the pile so they've just been laying there and we've been piling extra brush on top of it and we're gonna see if we can burn up those two big chunks of trunk so come along with me, we'll have a good time. in on the action. There's that pile, folks. Let's give it a whirl. I think we've got everything we need for this job. Right here in the buggy. There's our bucket of water with an old pair of jeans in there so that we can fight the fire with in case it decides to get away from us. That's our insurance right there. And we have got our diesel for the fuel to make the flames hot and big right off the bat. There's our other bucket of water. There's our diesel. And I'm gonna go around here and I'm gonna grab the matches and our napkin that we brought to get it going faster. Now, it didn't look very big at first, but the closer you get to it, you can see it's quite a pile. Kipper, be careful! That diesel is going to make it flame up a whole lot more and get hot. Never pour gas on a fire. It'll explode. But diesel is used for this purpose. All that brown fine stuff is a load of mulch that we dumped on there. We've got to get going hot with all the little stuff. So hopefully it'll burn those two big chunks at the bottom of the pile. The chunks of trunk. There you go guys. Now you can see those two big huge pieces of the trunk of the tree. They are pretty big aren't they? Our tractor couldn't even pick them up they're so big. So we do hope this does the trick today. Gets rid of them once and for all. I'm starting to feel the heat of those flames. It's getting hot. And I hope you know, boys and girls, that you never, ever, ever play with fire. Fire is a wonderful, terrible thing. 
wonderful. It can accomplish what you need it to. It can warm you when it's cold. It can help you burn big trunk pieces. But it can also get away from you and destroy homes and fields and all kinds of things. So never, ever play with fire. sack or your pair of jeans is wet. That's your clue. So I think we've got that under control again and now we'll continue to watch it burn and I'm really not convinced it's going to burn up that trunk but we're going to give it a good old try. we're at the end of this day and we've come out to check on our our logs burning it's not all the way burned but it looks like the one that was in the front is gone almost still got that giant one in the back so we'll keep working on that we'll have to pile some more stuff on top of that one and over time get enough to start another fire and see if we can get that burned up but for today hey Thanks for joining me. Hadn't this been fun? Be sure and tell your friends about Born and Barn. See you next time.